Hi everyone and welcome back to day five of my Halloween craft along series. Um, I hope that you have been following along and have seen the other videos where we've already done traditional, pastel, gore and kiddie. Um, again, we're going down a different avenue and we are going to do um, a gothic. So this again is my interpretation of gothic. Um, and I just want to share with you some of what I've got in my supplies and um, just show you how I would work with that. So um, what I've got here, I first I want to show you these images. They're a bit too big to work with today, but I just love these images. And you, you can see that they, they just turn really creepy. So they've got like normal and then they just turn it and then they turn into like horror and i think these are absolutely wonderful images and really embody what i think of in gothic um like i said these are actually too big to use on the tag um it would just take up the entire thing so um other things that you could do because you know the frame is a bit lame you could alter it and um you know make that really gothic as well if you had access to these images or if you've got smaller ones you could um add them to the project too so i just wanted to share with you those um and i get them from the pound shop they're actually four in a pack but i felt like those images really embraced the, the you know the gothicness um so gothic i'm thinking reds and blacks i think straight away i think of morticia i remembered her name this time <laughs> i did forget it in a previous video on um diane cross's entry completely left my mind but yeah uh, that's what i think of when i think of gothic um so here are just a few things i've got so of course bats again dracula you know it's, it's this romantic side of halloween um i've got this glittery purple spider and then i get loads and loads of these they're actually like the rings but they're so easy to like just snip off the ring part mind mind the legs because you know spiders need eight legs and then there you have a plastic spider and usually the ring ones are cheaper so or you get more or something so you've just got loads and loads and loads of things that you can play with there um i've cut out some of these spider webs now this is actually i i cut it out ages ago and it's actually was on sticky velvet but just using textures like velvet and stuff just adds to that theme i've picked out a load of flowers i've got this giant black one obviously you know someone like morticia would cut the heads off these flowers but i've just picked out ones that are black um gray purple and red um, added a little bit of purple in because I thought a little bit of pop of colour against red and black. I also have this gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous um, piece here. It's um, always massive, but it's got like spiderweb detail in it. And I got that from a local store and they sold it by the meter and I've just got so much of it now still. Um, like I say, I only use a little bit at a time. And then these, I thought these are amazing. These are um, lace chokers and I got these last year at the pound shop. But just look at all the lovely lace detail. And then you've got dangles and you've got charms and you've got gems and you've got this bat piece. I was like, I thought this was an absolute bargain. And again, um, I got this one. It's um, a black one. All them gems this gorgeous dangle and all this lace trim it was a crafter's delight so um i thought i could do something with those so yeah so what i'm going to do is pop up a, a mood board image that i've created using uh, pictures i found on pinterest just to show you my idea of gothic and then i'll get into crafting and i'll be back to show you the finished tag
Okay, so here is my interpretation of a gothic Halloween tag. So you see I have um, used a dark red piece of cardstock in the back. And then I just added the um, that lacy net material that I got. I actually lined up so that I could get a um, spider web, but it's a bit pointless now because... I feel like everything else on top of it takes that away but I do like that you can still see some of that detail underneath and then layered one of the um, necklaces up here because I really really love this part here this brooch here and then I cut off the back part on the other one and I just left the dangles to dangle which I think is a really nice element to this tag I used that velvet um, spider web and added this glitter spider, which I think just adds a little bit of interest there and some dimension. And over here, I've got this little uh, black spider coming out of the flower. Probably going to see his little mummy. And then I took apart the um, rose because it was a bit too bulky, but I just laid up the petals and then added the flowers inside and then just did a cluster going up. And then just added a couple around. I didn't really need to add anything because the lace had these little gem dots everywhere, which I thought really looked nice where they were positioned. And I just added this um, black satin trim and just added double of that to the top. So that is my interpretation of um, Gothic Halloween. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you continue to watch the series. Um, so thank you so much. Bye.